What's up guys, Scotty here from Blue Cooking Family and welcome to this quite special and interesting video. So as you may know, about a week or so ago, Paradox, the creators of the Visual City Skylines that we play and love so much on this channel, uh, officially announced uh, the release date for City Skylines 2. Um, and alongside it, they've given us a complete in-game footage captured trailer that uh, seems pretty interesting and uh, what I want to do is go over some of the screenshots and bits they've shown in that trailer um, with you guys just from my perspective to go over kind of things that we think are going to be officially in the game just kind of speculate on kind of what potentially the gameplay can be and what can set it aside from the current City Skylines 1. Um, so yeah lots of exciting things to cover in this one. So they first open up the um, the trailer with a look at a road intersection. Now, quite frankly, some people think, well, why? Well, actually, we can actually pull a lot from this one photo that they've, that we've uh, got from that, that little uh, bit of the trailer. So we can see here instantly if we look away from roads we've got a lot of different tree varieties not only just generic bushy trees but we can see a lot of trees there that look dead now that's quite interesting to me because that shows that you know maybe trees have like some life cycle or they've got you know maybe it's just part of the variety of trees in the area um it could also lead kind of lean towards the more kind of um the seasonal kind of um cycle that they've have teas that they is going to be within this game so maybe this is just maybe this is, is even like a glitch that we're looking at within this game of where the uh, life cycle of tree in terms of the seasons hasn't quite synced up properly but it does show us kind of what those trees and the detail of those trees look like and it's absolutely incredible the next thing we can look at is of course roads. Now the first thing that struck me when I was looking at that at this is just how pretty the intersection looks um, from just the way it's laid out. Now of course City Skylines 1 has some pretty good intersections if you use them correctly and also if you have the addition to the game of having um, the any mods such as um, uh, precise engineering or anything like that um, it really helps with adding that to the game, but this is, of course, we are seeing everything in native format. Now, Paradox have said that they're going to work closely with these creators and they're going to try and add as much into the game that was a successful mod as native, which is fantastic to hear. You know, they're really listen listening to the community. Really good to hear. So what can we tell from this video, uh, from this uh, kind of screenshot here? Um, first off, we can see that the actual joining sections and where roads change has really been refined. We can see that roads split off from other roads really nicely. We can see that roads join other roads really nicely. The lines look great. The uh, the angles look great. There's a really kind of point where you can have a road go alongside the other road. Um, and it's, it's really close. You know, that was really difficult to achieve in the previous game because uh, you were constantly getting into it and saying, no, it's too close, you know, it's overlapping, things like this. So it's really good to see that they've potentially um, kind of brought that up. Uh, we can see top right, we've got a road there that goes from a single road into a double road. Then we've got one road that peels off and then later, slightly after that, it then goes back to a single road. And you can see that kind of divergent arrow there, which is really quite cool. Um, it kind of shows how it kind of links in. So there's lots of things here. We can still tell what we're quite far away and there's still quite a few kind of little bugs and glitches we need to get out. Um, you can see bottom, uh, very bottom right corner. Those look like two uh, hearses that have uh, stopped in the middle of the road. And uh, actually in the video, you can see them kind of rotating in the road. So you can see there's a couple of uh, glitches and bugs there that uh, they're just kind of ironing out. Um, something that I speculate in this one, which I think I really hope they introduce, is the ability to have some form of highway or road, but a, a road coming off that road, you can have as priority on only one side. And what I mean by that is you can see like these roads here that come off this junction. In City Skylines 1, without any mods, just in native game, the um, that road will be allowed to be used by the other side of the road that's coming up. 
Um, and so you would have it trying to cross the road and you would have you know, traffic on the other side trying to cut back and do like a U-turn to get down that road and, and it causes a lot of chaos. So what I'm seeing here is where we've got that kind of single double yellow line down the middle of the road. I'm really hoping that that's kind of open up the, uh, the ability for this game to have that ability to have a road that is only accessible from one side, from one lane sort of thing. Uh, that would be quite cool. I'd love to see that. Okay, so moving on from this screenshot. It then cuts into a screenshot of looking over um, the city in the distance uh, and you've got some houses in the front ground. Now, a couple of things I pulled out from this, I've got two screenshots from this uh, just to sh kind of show off. First one is to look at simply, once again, the tree variety down the bottom. You've got some great detail there. There's some, so much detail in this photo. It looks great and the video is just insane. The water looks amazing. The reflections in the water, you'll notice, actually reflect the buildings. It's no longer just a just a generic reflection. And you see later on loads of other kind of reflections in windows and things like that that kind of do actually reflect the uh, what's actually happening around. And it's it just yeah, insane. Really, really cool to see that reflections working well. Uh, if we look down on the road, you can see this little petrol station. That's really cool to see. Um, potentially, it's just a bit of... Uh, Yo, know, maybe it's just a bit of commercial property there or unless they've actually kind of thought about that because that's I, I don't see any other commercial property around it so um maybe that's just what you can place you can plop those down or they build upon corners and stuff um i quite like that it looks really quite nice really neat um if we move on to the next one you can see where it's had like these buildings bumped up so it's kind of showing the development of the area um, and we can see maybe one more like shop down the bottom left uh, but we can see that those buildings have really jumped up so they've uh, kind of increased their density couple more billboards uh, I was kind of half hoping that we would reduce the amount of billboards that we were having on buildings make them look a little bit odd um, but we can see from the screenshot there's still quite a few billboards around um, I can count about four or so in that photo uh, potentially five um, which at the moment they're all the same so maybe let's just let's just hope that by the time the game releases they're just it's just not priority at the moment uh, they get some more artwork or they just change how they look um but overall i like it looks really good uh something else i can note from this photo is the variety of car we're no longer stuck with a hundred of the different of the same type of car uh, they all look very different they all look great so i really like the look of that Next photo, we can see the kind of the more the uh, trains, and I believe this looks a little. It looks like we're a little bit further down from where we were before. Um, things we can pull out from this photo: first of all, roundabout. That looks amazing. If that's built into game, that looks fantastic. The road layer already looks amazing. Uh, shame it's in the American format, but um, hopefully, with a little bit more of a European kind of interjection there, maybe we can have it looking quite really nicely. The bridge in the background looks amazing. Um, we can also see two types of trains here with a great level crossing. Uh, we can see a freight train down the bottom, so that's confirmed that we've got um, freight trains that can operate in the uh, industrial areas. Uh, and we can see a very nice looking uh, kind of passenger train there the other direction. The other thing we could tell is we've got this one kind of piece of track that kind of you know, turns off the main line. Uh, that would have been really difficult to achieve on uh, City Skylines 1, so it's really good to see that we're also getting some of that kind of precision engineering that we get in the roads um, on the trains as well, so that's really cool to see. Really like the look of that and the addition of that. This screenshot we can see that we've got the addition of trams, so trams are confirmed for a day one release in this version. We can also see that it cuts over the middle of that roundabout, which that's interesting, so that's I don't know how that's going to work in game, uh, whether that's actually going to be a big impact to traffic, but uh, hey, we'll see. That's But it's interesting to see. I wonder if that's a placeable road piece or whether you can build it through there like that. Um, we'll be intrigued to see. Um, once again, we see all the houses. A lot more detail in this version um, and kind of thought about the, the structure on how buildings are placed next to each other no longer do you have a row of houses all looking different and you know weird back gardens and stuff like this um in this version it looks like actually the uh, the engine seems to be thinking about that a little bit more 
all the houses look roughly the same. They've either got the front, the same front bit, or they, they look nice. They look like they should go together. Uh, in the background, that's a university. 100% that's a university. Um, that looks amazing. Really nice. Um, but you can place that down, and I've got a screenshot later on that shows a little bit more around that, which, uh, which just looks awesome. So it looks really cool. Um, this is just a very quick screenshot, shows the day night cycle, but also, once again, those reflections in the water. Looks gorgeous. Uh, we did see a bit of the kind of, what you'd see a bit like the Aurora Borealis in, in the sky, which, uh, once again, hopefully, they say it's, this is all getting game footage, um, but uh, we'll see whether that actually pulls out in game or not when it releases. The next one shows, uh, again, a little bit more of that day night cycle. Showing a little bit more of kind of like a sunrise haze, or it could be a sunset and such. Um, but we see a couple of unique buildings in here. So we've got a building off to our right, which looks like a big tower. Um, this is obviously a unique building, and uh, that got confirmed from the Steam item page, where they talk about um, kind of what you can go and get as a pre-order bonus. You get these kind of these unique buildings, which includes this tower. You can see like a little Ferris wheel in the background, which looks very suspiciously like the London Eye, but we will see whether it's actually what it's based upon when the game releases. But in this in this one, we can also see a couple of more styles of bridges. This one down the kind of in the centre looks really nice. A little bit more kind of a uh, little more kind of gothic-y, um, like kind of like tower bridgey kind of style with the uh, turrets on there, and your more modern bridges in the backgrounds looks really nice. We've got this big structure down the bottom in the middle. Um, I can only assume that this has got to be some form of hospital. You can see a helipad on the top there, so this has got to be like a big general hospital. Looks really cool, looks interesting. Uh, and then the only other things to point out is on the left hand side, you look to see what is like a dock area. You've got some cranes on there, so that's kind of confirmed we've got some you know, cargo ports and bits and pieces in there. And over to the right hand side, you can see a grey building in the background. Um, I can only assume it's some form of power station or even potentially could be just another hospital. Uh, it's quite hard to tell from this distance, but once again, looks really good. And the fact that it's rendering that well from this distance is insane. Um, other thing I can point out in this one is, I can't tell if it's snow or what, but is on the mountain range in the back right. But uh, if it is snow, that's really cool because that looks like it's kind of dynamically set in places and would like disappear over time. Um, but that's, that's really quite, quite neat. So then they show us actual in-game footage of how you would play it and such. So we see the first time we see the interface. Uh, so we can see here, we've got the terrain tool. So very similar to what we got now uh, in City Skylines, except for you obviously you've got a little bit more kind of finer control over brush size and brush strength, which is really nice. Um, we, we have got confirmed that um, the little bird, Tweety or Chippy is back. Um, which so I can imagine a day one mod is going to be disabled chippy um, because uh, that's one of the first mods I downloaded uh, was to was to disable that thing because it got annoying quickly. Um, but hey, we can see you there back. Um, then we come down to the main little bar bit. So we got as we do have that seasonal window, so we can see that it's sun, it's seven degrees, and it's springtime. So we can see that actually based in game you have that seasonal kind of cycle which is really nice you got the city name population uh, it gives it a per hour which is interesting so whether that's in game or actual per hour per hour that'd be interesting to see uh, our population and then money your overall happiness they've changed how that looks it's now like a scale so it's a five part scale up to like kind of really sad to obviously really happy um, and then we can look at kind of some other options so we can see we've got 167 I can assume that's tiles. Really hard to tell what that means, whether that's tiles of building tiles in terms of um, areas to build on, like similar we had in City Skylines 1, or whether you've got a little bit of blue and green in there. Maybe that's just kind of uh, how many tiles you've placed or what you need to put. I'm not too sure. Um, we'll find out closer to the game. You can see there, you've got the milestone. We can see the we're Megalopolis. Um, so you can see we've got milestones and stuff back in place. You've got a little bit of a view there of um, what I can show you is the uh, kind of 
for demand for density so we see you've got a, you know loads of loads of lines there so it really really detailed in terms of the data it gives you of how what kind of um, people it's looking for so we can see it's low density people in there which is interesting uh, and the rest of the bar looks pretty much the same as city skylines one which i'm not against i really like that if it ain't broke don't fix it there was nothing wrong with the interface of city skylines one you might as well keep the same agreed so then we can look into the roading tool. Now this is really where we've done some work. So you can see some of the kind of ideas that have come in from mods that we've got in here. So we can see we've got some new format of uh, building. So they're showing off here the grid format, which that's cool. But for people who just sit there, build grids all day, I mean, boring, but it's practical. I don't dis I don't knock you for the practicality of it. It's really clever, um, but they built your tool for it, which is fantastic. Uh, we can see we've got four other options of road. You've got straight roads, of course, um, curve roads as we had before. You've got then what looks to be the freeform tool there, and then you've got one which looks like the freeform tool that got drunk. Um, the only thing I can imagine from this one is it's a freeform tool but with a little bit harsher corners. So the first freeform potentially is if it's a 60 mile an hour road it will do a corner but keeping high as a high speed um, but give you that free kind of like larger corners whereas that second free form maybe it's you've got a tricky terrain you need to navigate you're not going to get you're going to get some tighter corners you're going to give you a little bit more fine detail in there but hey got a load of snapping abilities you've got elevation steps so you can see how far and how harsh the elevation is um, really like that um, so it gives you kind of how harsh your elevation is you got some road types in there you've got some bridge options now i'm not too sure why they're offering the bridges in this way we'll see whether um what the bridges look like do you have to preset the bridges I don't know, we'll, we'll find out when it comes out, but we got some good road options in there, one-way traffic, so that's like that. I'd like to see a few more road options, but maybe they'll come out during the day. Um, the other thing we can see in here is actually, and I don't know if anyone else has picked this up. Actually, this is interesting. Underneath the roads, you've got pipes. So potentially, if you've got roads, you do not require piping, because I think the roads may already have the pipes on them so it's very reminiscent of um the remake of um sim city um yeah that made me feel ill talking about that game but um yeah very very similar to that of where like all the roads all the utilities kind of went down that but that's that's interesting we haven't seen anything for the utilities before but maybe that maybe that is the case i quite like that if that is uh, we see a little bit more of that kind of the snapping tool. So yeah, so we can see there we've got some angles. So it really does give you fine detail. The other thing to pull away from this screenshot there is um, how you're able to now draw through roads. That was not possible before in um, City Skylines 1. Um, but this is very much possible now. Um, the other thing you can pull, about, pull apart from there is the roundabouts are now a ploppable item. We can see that in the kind of the choosing menu next to what something that looks like a parking, which is also very interesting. Um, but yeah, you can see there, we've got two roundabouts on the screen. Um, so you can actually place like a roundabout down. And so it's gonna function properly like a roundabout. So I really like that, really good concept. It's gonna be awesome when that's fully exploited. Then the screenshot pulls out across the wide city and you can see these really complex junctions in place and you can see where the road has been upgraded and you can see this absolute hell of a junction to probably navigate i would hate to be a driver trying to get through that but to look at in terms of this game absolutely incredible i really hope that that's something that we can make uh, with roads and the snapping and stuff um over that it's just a, a junction you place um I really hope that's the case, not and not the other way around. But hey, that does look really, really nice. Um, not really much else from here. A couple, of, a couple of people who I have seen kind of do these similar videos. Um, they've kind of highlighted that this is a dock in the top left. Uh, that if you look closely, it's not. Um, it's just some really cleverly placed industrial uh, stuff. So those are chim chimneys, not cranes. Um, it's really easy to kind of miss that. But yeah, that that's not a dock. So potentially 
they're leaning towards that docks are coming. I know we saw in a previous one like a cargo port, but maybe full docks fronts are not coming. Uh, and that's almost confirmed as well because so you have announced on their Steam page that it's going to be an ultimate edition you can pre-purchase that comes with it its first DLC and its first expansion of um, bridges and docks, um, which kind of allow you to build that. So that's not due out for another year um, after the game is released. So I'm guessing they're just kind of showing off what's potential in the screenshot is there. Um, really nothing else other in this screenshot other than kind of looking at once again those buildings there's been a lot of force into the engine on how it places buildings and what buildings it's next to they all look pretty uniform and look really nice and uh, just looks really really cool. Then we come into the showing the density in the once again the RCI so we can see there are lots of detail in here we've got suitability now so you get to see how suitable an area is for a certain um, Kind of designation and you can see that we can actually place down the level of uh, density so it's no longer just low density high density it's a you've got a scale of six up there from like extreme density probably that top right one up to you know small little granny's cottage kind of on the left um really really cool uh, and we can also see inside this designation bit you, you've got the other options you've got residential you've got commercial industrial uh, and i can assume that purple is now uh, that is offices whereas for it's a very kind of like like teal so it could get confused with uh commercial a little bit um but we've got that last one which to me that looks like an oil derrick um but yeah interesting so maybe we get to place those down as like ploppable areas and they build and grow naturally interesting so maybe in industry specific kind of ploppable areas uh, and the other thing we can see from here so the tool mode really hasn't changed you've got the paint bucket you've got the dragon square and you've got the paintbrush really nice but you can see we've got theming now you know, you've got change between american and european so potentially you can change what kind of district a, a uh, what theme it looks like so that looks really cool uh, and remember this is all native that was something that was in the original game in terms of mods and you can add in themes and you can add your own custom assets but the fact that this is now a built-in game looks really cool really neat so this screenshot once again we get to see that kind of suitability so we see the office building so that's now being confirmed but purple is that office building got two types of density for that obviously low and high uh, with high being these really big skyscrapers and such um, but yeah, you can really see how you got most of those are really suitable for your high density um, office blocks. But you got one road in there that really isn't. Now I can only assume that's because it's I don't know. Maybe it's too small. Maybe I don't know. But it's interesting why that road up there isn't. Now it could be it's busy. You got a road at the top left there also saying it's not suitable either. So could be bad for kind of traffic. Maybe connectability stuff like this. So yeah interesting to see uh, once again we look at the another road section so we can see that kind of really fine detail that came from like precision engineering and such like that um, really of the nodes placing down you get details you get angles you get meterage really really nice some other things to point out in this one so you can see that you've got a little bit more kind of street furniture so you've got actually a wall there that divides across the side of the motorway um of the highway that looks really neat um, and it looks like that's kind of unique to that one side of the highway you've got a little bit on the right hand side but it stops where the other side does continue looks really neat something else to draw your attention to very top left you've got a road there that literally splits uh from a two-lane road to two to two one lane roads um that was technically possible in city skylines one but you needed mods and uh, was very tricky to pull off um i'm really glad that it looks like that is natively supported in terms of like being able to join two roads and make them into one road it looks really neat looks really cool and i really really like it so looks really good this is a big big point and there's a couple of things to kind of pull apart in this screenshot so first of all a big thing in the middle of the bridge and it looks amazing but the key thing is that you've got this dual lane with parallel mode that you can see in bottom left now this is a mode that looks to be unique and only available in highway section here 
Uh, you didn't have you didn't have a highway section before, but yeah, convertible. Also, bridges. You've got to build bridges uniquely. You don't have the option of. Uh, I'm guessing this is leaning towards. You don't have the option of building bridges in terms of uh, with just any road. You've got to have a certain road. Maybe you can't upgrade bridges to have, only have like bus lane roads and stuff like that. Where you could do on City Skylines one. We'll see. But here, parallel mode. This is something that you know mods for, but wasn't natively. Anyone who built highways before knew how painful it was to uh, try and build a highway with the two-way roads. It just wouldn't. It would just look awful. It would never work, and you'd spend hours trying to do it. The fact that you got the parallel mode looks amazing. Looks to be you can change how many, what the distance between roads are. So you can see this is a two. So maybe that's like a distance of like two between them, two roads or something like that. Um, and you can make them really close. So it looks. Like you've got a lot more detail here, really good. And you've got some of those industrial buildings in the background. Uh, can't really tell from this what they are, um, but potentially you've got some recycling centers in there because both these buildings look relatively the same. But yeah, once again, water looks amazing. Here we go. So this was a blink and you missed it screenshot that was in the trailer uh, I managed to get the two screenshots to show off what was happening so this is the university so this is obviously the university you get when you first place down the university so you place it down you get this building and when you level up from what I can guess you can see here um, that you get tells you how much bits are and upkeep and you get extensions so very very reminiscent of of the remake of SimCity you know, kind of similar to modular design which was awesome that was one thing i always said SimCity did well that modular design of those unique buildings and those custom kind of buildings to be able to expand buildings was awesome really clever game mechanic uh, and it's something that city skylines just never had you had a building that was it you had no choice but it looks like that it's all changing in city skylines too you are getting this modular design so you get big big landscape here and uh, you get to build upon it. Now, the only thing that I would say at this time is it looks to be you can only change buildings and modulize buildings from the like the piece of land that they're on. So we can see this university is massive. It's got all this ground around it. Um, and then if I go to the next screenshot, you can see that they have placed down the, ex the extension um, wing on top of this land. So you can see that it changes the land slightly, uh, it demolishes the the park that was there and uh, has placed this expansion, this extension wing, which is really cool, really unique. Uh, but I would like to see the ability that you could just like place down the first building and then build next to it and such. But it's a really good step in a good direction. Looks awesome. The next one shows kind of plopping down the police station. So you can see we've got four, uh, four levels of police station, which is insane. So I'm assuming one of those is going to be a jail, maybe. A a large jail or something kind of like that you've got the local police station uh, and you can see here there's like the crime overlay of where there's crime being taken where people feel happy and such like that so very cool very unique uh, once again we get to see those uh, roundabouts in use and we see the tram trucks as well other than that not much to pull apart from this uh, screenshot then we move on to looking at the tram depot now uh, once again, this was a kind of a, a little bit of a blink and you missed it kind of like bit on the video. Uh, but you saw here that they looked like they were editing the tram tracks. So you were actually building the tram tracks on this land. If that's the case, that's that's really cool. That's really, really, really cool. So you get to have a lot more play around how your depots work. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. Um, so if I jump to the next screenshot, you can see here how it ended up. Looking, you've got the uh, tram tracks that go in and out of the building there, a loop round and go out onto the main road. And you can see this is also a screenshot from earlier. But yeah, really cool. The other thing we can point out in this is that highway down the middle. That just the closeness of that looks incredible. So that's using that parallel tool, um, but also that kind of that junction off, how it just comes off a little ramp down. Really, really cool. Really, really decent. Um, yeah, we've been crying out for this sort of stuff for ages. So really good to see you actually listening to us. The next one, we can see the kind of the interface for the transportation. So this is the tram. We actually have a loop this time, which is amazing. Uh, we can see how the loop works. You can see where you are on that loop. You can see the schedule. 
you can change the ticket prices you can actually change for your assigned vehicle so rather than just doing a budgetary kind of overlook you've actually got assigned vehicles uh, so you can actually if, if a certain route was really good you can assign that one a lot of vehicles and reduce down the other one now that was kind of there in one but this interface looks much nicer I really like that uh, this gives us um, a little breakdown of kind of the residential so it really breaks down um, kind of education level people in the property and such so you can properly understand what your neighborhoods are like where they're missing out in terms of education such like that um, really really nice I really like that you can see kind of I assume from that left hand side these are the types of flats that you've got in this building these are all the houses in that building so rather than just having one house and it tells you one person who lives there it actually breaks down who lives there so residents that's it. that's really neat oh yeah you go you got households there so 15 households that's neat that's neat i really like that really nice little view on that little kind of pull again that data and that information for you to use once again a uh, very another blinking you missed it moments but this was quite a big point so this is the uh, looks to be like a coal power plant or maybe even nuclear power plant here uh, oh no it says top left <laughs> coal power plant there we go um, and this was a upgrading of it to add a, a more efficient burning processed output of less fuels um, same power output with less fuels okay so you get to increasing so this is actually increasing so we were adding parts to this um, and so if I jump to the next one you can see how instantly they added a new um, like expansion to it so another cooling tower and such there um, so yeah you've got a modular ability to upgrade certain elements so really really nice um, I do believe in this one the industrial buildings around it are actually have no effect on the actual building itself um, I think it just looks nice but yeah that's nice so the other thing we can pull apart from this video from this screenshot is the power lines so we can see these are big power lines um, so I'm assuming we can get some different levels of power lines in here uh, in terms of like ones coming from the from the power point from a power station and then going out to the city but that looks really cool really unique I love it well if you can tell I'm loving the game so far so when we come to this this is showing the pollution map pollution never looks so good it gives you a proper detailed view of the average air pollution air pollution air pollution sources air pollu uh, traffic air pollution wind speed and direction so wind speed and direction are now being really heavily thought about in this game and uh, can really show you the impact of what your pollutions are so you can see how this is affecting across that little bit of residential area and affecting everyone else around it um, the other thing we pull from this is this train yard it looks amazing um, really really cool um, there's just so much to pull apart from there you know, it looks to be that you've got that train depot you've got the train train lines going in and out of it um, I really hope this is functional that looks so cool really 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 awesome yeah I'm loving this game so far screenshot showing the um, kind of police coverage so we saw this is obviously being filmed before the place down the police station earlier it's the same area uh, but you can see the kind of the where this bad crime good crime where the police coverage is on the roads so you can see all this doesn't have any coverage at all which is why some areas are looking pretty bad um but you can see kind of the really good details and numbers there of kind of like once again data you can use to be able to better put these services across your city so yeah really really awesome here we can see um, kind of a bigger wider view of the city kind of center we've got the university down there to the left um, and we got the big kind of bi uh, bridge we saw off to the right um, and yeah we look to be some form of sewage treatment up to the very top um, which is interesting and then yeah the big kind of high rises in the middle but this is showing our traffic data view so we can see traffic flow and it's split down by time so we can see what kind of you know peaks and troughs there are throughout the day but we also get a breakdown of all the um, traffic flow in terms of by road as well so very similar to what we got now but looks to be a lot more detailed then we come on to looking at 
industry. So it looks like some basic industries are built natively into the game this time. It looks awesome. So we can see here it's shown off at like kind of um, industry areas here. So specialized industry. So you looks like you've got um, animal farms, you've got um, wheat farms and like crops, um, vegetable farms, cotton farms. Um, you've got forestry stuff. You looks to be have like quarries, coal. I'm guessing that's like um, gems and like diamonds and stuff like that. Um, maybe like gold or something like that. And then the last one looks to be like oil. So really, really cool. Um, shows you what required. They require, require forest, low, low noise pollution, things like this. Uh, but gives you really good details of what's around, around you in terms of fertile land, wood or oil. So really, really cool. Gives you full details on that, but I really like to see that it's here. Uh, the other thing you can see on here is the snapping. So you've got either snap against road or snap against star, which normally means snap against anything. So maybe there's some more snapping options coming. But uh, yeah, not entirely sure what that means, but hey, we'll find out. Uh, then they showed us a, a kind of in a punched in screenshot of that kind of logging camp. So this, I'm guessing, is once again going to be modular and uh, you can expand. And the fact that the um, industry has gone underneath the RCI tool kind of implies that potentially it grows by itself. So it's no longer going to be us building up these buildings. We kind of place an area down and then it builds within it. So that's going to be interesting if it's that kind of level of dynamic. Um, we'll see, it's interesting. Um, not much else from this screenshot to see, but yeah, it's interesting. Uh, then it gave us two, uh, like a big sweeping shot of the whole city and a couple of things to punch out here. But uh, yeah, really, really cool things here. So you look to have a power station in the back left. Um, you've got a grey area just above it, which I can't tell if some form of airport or some other big industry area, but that that's interesting to me up there. Um, then coming down, we've got once again those kind of uh, unique buildings in terms of we've got the that hundred percent looks like the London Eye to me, um, but some form of Ferris wheel, such uh, some big attraction. You've got the, in the middle, you have this big American football stadium. Um, so you've got the sports and stuff there. Over to the left, you seem to have some sort of transport hub, and then this is a big unique building here. Um, I don't think it's a unique building. I think this is some form of emergency service, some uh, hospital, police station, potentially a police station. Um, but that looks interesting. You have a football pitch down the bottom. Uh, you have your some more industry stuff, and then you also have that um, road and sorry that rail kind of terminal as well off to the bottom right. Um, but looks really good. But the other thing that really came from this set of this swooping shot is when it pulled out even more and it showed off the ability for it to have snow dynamically placed. So snows and it places that snow across all your buildings. So it was a really, really cool, unique view of the city. So yeah, it was really, really cool. So that was all the screenshots I took from inside the actual trailer for what I gave us. Um, but we can have a look at some of the screenshots that they've got on their um, Steam page. So these are slightly lower resolution, so I do apologize. Uh, the first one shows um, the back half of that university we had. Um, assuming, I, I assume this is the same city. It's really hard to tell. But we can see that that university has grown a lot more. It's got a couple more buildings attached to it. Um, it's got a big sports stadium, so it looks like an American football pitch again. Um, but it looks like it's grown a lot. So once again, hoping for that modular effect. Um, I do believe this is, yeah, this is the same city because you've got kind of that um, that harbour to the left. You've got that. Looks to be like police station in the middle. Um, lots of interesting stuff happening here. Uh, but this university was the thing I wanted to highlight in this screenshot. We move on to a little bit more of a residential lookup. So once again, showing a lot of the data um, in there, showing you what is good residential, what's kind of bad residential, and the su suitability, suitability again. Um, so there's nothing really new that they're showing from us on these screenshots. They're just kind of highlighting some kind of the data in there. Uh, but we can see the power station off to the top as well, top middle-ish. 
Uh, then they show us the tram going over that real kind of beautiful gothic -y iron bridge, um, which just looks gorgeous. But the thing I want to highlight from this is just a look at the detail, look at the colors, look at the graphics, uh, but look at the reflection of a tram. That's insane. Um, but the reflections there. So that's probably going to mean that we're going to require some of these high level graphics cards, so RTXs and stuff coming out. Um, but yeah, you're going to need one of those in your computer by now to be able to run this game <laughs> to make it even look half as nice as in a screenshot. Um, but I'm not too worried about that. It look, it's looking really good. Uh, so I want to highlight this one because we talked about billboards earlier. Once again, there's a lot of billboards in this in this um, in this uh, screenshot. So um, I really hope that most of these either get <sighs> made look nicer, but you know potentially. You know, it's a lot of the same in that photo so hopefully we see a bit more variety but some other things I want to highlight in here is look at the detail on the cars they look amazing you can actually half the cars you can look at and you can probably put a, a make against them yes there's a lot of smart cars in here but hey we had lots lots a lot of smart cars in six skylines one so maybe it's just for the trend um, but also you can see in here is there's a person off to the left the bottom left they that is really detailed before it was just some polygons and you could rarely tell it was a person but that looks really really good um, but you can come down to street level it looks amazing really really nice so in this one we saw that kind of once again the clipping uh, detail of uh, where the you know, really fine details of the roads going across looks really awesome um, not too much other than that it tells you where you know there's a bit of an overlap to the building whether that kind of orange outline kind of implies that that building's about to be destroyed not too sure we'll find out um, but I would kind of lean toward this being the more European style looking at some of those building kind of looks and stuff but um, yeah we'll see what that European style means when the game obviously releases um, this one shows of course that population density gives us proper big details of kind of what our age distribution is um, and our citizen age, that's interesting. So it really gives us a good kind of detail of where kind of our areas of our kind of people are. So we can, might need more healthcare, you might need more education, so you can see where your families are living, a bit more schools, such like that. So once again, really pulling across those details in there and really cool. Once again, another beautiful screenshot of some roads, some proper big um, kind of roads which are connecting, interlinking, no horrible junctions in sight, which is really good to see. Proper tight corners, roads splitting, roads kind of cutting across nicely. So we've got some roads, proper precise engineering tools in there for road building, which I'm really excited for. Uh, we can also see this like footpath bridge as well in the bottom right so uh, confirmed we've got footpaths and uh, potentially then bicycle lanes but it looks really cool really neat uh, we have a station at top left as well that's a, that's really nice it looks like a really modern station um, but yeah that's awesome really really nice and then this is the final screenshot that we have um, just kind of look again at that detail of the night time you've got the lights um, which just pop and look really nice, really unique. Uh, the level detail on the street as well. And you've got the tram tracks down the middle. Um, which, yeah, all of it just looks amazing. So, uh, yeah. The only thing I would pull apart quickly on this one is this is be a snowman bottom right. Not quite sure what's going on with that. But, uh, hey, interesting. But, yeah, that's everything so far. They have announced a uh, release date. Um, which is of course coming October 24th this year so really excited for that you can go pre-order now on Steam uh, they do two editions one with the ultimate edition that comes with some more kind of packs as and when they release um, and such but uh, they're saying it's coming with a 22% off discount uh, if you buy a pre-purchase uh, but it's still fairly high it's around the uh, £80 mark so quite high expensive game but £40 for a, a base game isn't too bad pretty pretty right with that um, for the level of amount we play it and such so really really good really excited for that I really want to hear down below what other things have you spotted in these screenshots and the trailers that potentially I've missed I want to hear what you guys have spot small little details that give away certain features want to hear it I want to see it and then of course 
you know where to come for the first time the game releases. I'm going to be doing so much on this. I'm going to be playing so much. Really hoping for that multiplayer ability. I've got a lot of people who want to play this game potentially all together. So really, really cool. Can't wait for it. But yeah, so until then, guys, have an amazing day. And uh, yeah, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, fam.